afternoon. It's a pleasure to be here today. Um, I'm going to, in the very short seven minutes that I've been allocated, tell you a little bit about Aesthetics Biomedical. We are a startup company that focuses on innovative medical devices and designed treatment experiences. Um, so um, a little bit about the company. We started in 2016 and um, I'm dropping things all over. So we started in 2016 and we've had a pretty rapid growth. Um, as you can see from the chart, we've had um, very good increases over the years. And in the first quarter of 2019, we've had a 107% increase over our first quarter of 2018. Our lead device is the Vivace and our Vivace experience, which was our first designed experience, is growing our uh, ongoing revenue and consumable revenue. So we're very happy with that. Um, we have a number of products that are in the pipeline that I'm going to talk to you about. I think we've been able to do this because we've had an amazing leadership team. Um, the chairman of our board, I'm lucky Todd Davis is here with us today. Uh, Todd uh, started LifeLock, brought it to a successful IPO and acquisition. So he's helping to lead us in what we're doing. Because of our success, we were able to bring on a full-time regulatory officer, uh, Alan Baumel, a full-time chief science um, officer, uh, Larry Rimes, and a new uh, VP for uh, sales. We've expanded our advisory network, because I think that's really important. We need to know what our device is doing in the market, how people like Vivace, why they like it or why they don't. But we also need to know what are the, the data, what behind us drives people to want to buy products. What do they need in the market? And so we expanded into a new clinical advisory uh, board that is helping us what, what is relevant, what's not relevant. But most importantly, what data do you need to have to make you want to buy our products because they're good for your patients? We are working uh, very much on our intellectual property. Our uh, portfolio has expanded. And we've been focusing this year on the new product I'm going to tell you about um, in a few minutes. We've launched a couple new products um, to drive revenue, but also to fit in with some of the concepts that we've launched this year as well. So, whoops, go back one. Um, if you look at our products, the Vivace is the middle one. It is our RF microneedling. We have uh, over 500 of these devices in the market, and it's doing really well with the consumable cells. The Onyx is, this, uh, micro, is the Vivace on steroids, and we have started a number of different clinical studies on that. We had to do a redesign this year, so hopefully the new studies will be completed by the end of 2019, and we'll submit for FDA clearance. Uh, the Senza is a device we brought on that couples with the new concept that we've just launched. And it is um, a rapid, uh, portable, uh, powerful laser hair removal device. Um, I call it Lickety Split for short. It is really fast and cool and no pain. Sanaa is a concept we launched. We uh, launched our headquarter um, one uh, in just uh, March. But this is where we're embedding a Sana Center into non-core. So we've talked a lot about non-core. Um, and this is a limited startup fee for that non-core, limited menu of services, all designed around our products and our designed experiences. So the market, I'm not going to say much about the market. You've talked about it all day. It's growing. Non-invasive, minimally invasive is leading the pack. And one of the most sought after non-invasive treatments that is out there is platelet-rich plasma. And so I'm going to talk about this because this is the backdrop of our new product. So, so me. It is a serum that was designed by Aesthetics Biomedical. It is a cosmetic that can be used at point of care by the physician to combine platelet-rich plasma into the serum for take-home personalized topical product by the patient. So we're very excited about this, and I'm going to get a, give you a little bit of our background information and clinical studies that we've done. So, SOMI, PRP equals topical take-home product. Skin care, that is all you. We did a clinical study. Um, the first one, and we're uh, about to start a second one for 90 days, but it was a split base, randomized, controlled study. Dr. Zoe Dralos was the PI. We had 20 patients. The one side of the face was our SOMI base serum. The other side, uh, the treatment was SOMI plus PRP. We used the m -site PRP centrifuge because we looked at all of them in the market, and we saw that we, it gave the best platelet count per milliliter 
or per treatment. So that was our decision there. If you look at the data, you can see the first slide, the collagen one analysis. So we did biopsies after uh, the eighth week. Um, and what we showed is in that, in the histology and the immunohistochemistry results. So the immunohistochemistry shows uh, an uptake in collagen at week eight. That's the right side on treatment. You could see the orange and red. When you look at the second slide, the red peg, this is really exciting. Um, as you age, those retract back into your dermis. Uh, you can see in the treatment slide that those have emerged into the dermis after only eight weeks. And then if you look at the last slide in elastin, again, you can see the red and orange staining showing uh, uh, stimulation or um, action there as well. So we're very excited about these after only eight weeks, and we're going to do the 90-day study that I said. And Dr. Dralos is uh, speaking at Hot Topics, and we'll go into more detail about this. We also did testing to look at the serum that uh, we had developed to ensure that there was stability and viability over time of those platelets. And what we found is compared positive and negative that there's significant inactivation over time. And the data led us to um, also show that the uh, enzym enzymatic activity is, uh, exists over 90 days, allowing a 90-day take-home product uh, for SOMI, which we're very excited about. So in conclusion, we believe we have a new product that is new. It's not any competition on the market, and the only competition that we could find uh, doesn't have any scientific data behind it. Um, we believe that using the M-Site 60 ML will allow you to leverage uh, this with your other treatments. You're already doing PRP. You're doing PRP with Bavachi. You can now send them home with a 90-day supply of SOMI. Um, it appeals to the millennials, um, natural products using your own uh, growth factors. Um, we think you can get better outcomes because we're convinced that the PRP and the um, uh, PPP that you derive using the M site is just a better quality uh, product to be using in your treatments. And we think that you're going to have increased revenue, not only from the sale of using SOMI with your patients, but also because they're going to be coming back every three months. So we think this is a really exciting opportunity, and we're excited. We're going to be formally launching um, in July. And so this is SOMI, and we hope it will be so you. Thank you very much for the time. Thank you.